It's Grand National Day at Christchurch and Rigadon Racecourse is packed for the South Island three and a half mile steeplechase classic for a stake of 3,500 pounds. The crowd is keyed up as the horses come down from the start and with just over three miles to go it's Lachine showing the way to top weight Brookby Song on the outside of Eleanor Star with Bronze Knight outside these two. Brookby Song makes a good jump to go up on the outside of Lachine and they go on towards the turn followed by Eleanor Star on the outside of Abby Lou with a length to Bronze Knight and two lengths to Pages Raid with Arabian Knight bringing up the rear. Round the bend and onto Cut's brush, the order is still the same and they all jump safely. Slow motion shows the beautiful jumping style and long stride of New Zealand's best steeplechasers as they take the kennel double. Arabian Knight's rider loses his stirrup irons and drops back to last by 20 lengths. As they go out of the back stretch and on towards the sod wall, Abby Lou has gone into the lead by three quarters of a length from Brookby Song, followed by High Morale. At the two miles, it's Brookby Song and Abby Lou, and they lead the way over the big brush and they all jump it safely. They come past the stands for the second time with just over a mile and a half to go, and it's Brookby Song leading from High Morale and Abby Lou, and these three are well in front as they go over the stand double brush. As they go on towards the bend, it's still Brookby Song followed by High Morale with Abby Lou on the outside. 15 lengths behind the Lachine and Eleanor Star and Arabian Knight in the rear. Past the mile and a quarter they go round the bend and approach cuts for the second time and it's still Brookby Song with High Morale second and they both jump it and High Morale stumbles. Arabian Knight's rider puts up a great performance riding without stirrup irons and he passes Lachine on the outside. High Morale is down and there are only six horses left at the Kennel Double and Brookby Song still has command. The field is starting to spread out but Arabian Knight is improving his position. They go on past the five and onto the sod wall for the last time and Brookby Song is first over again. Arabian Knight has moved up to second place, eight lengths behind with seven lengths to Lachine and four lengths to Abby Lou. They're strung out in the long line now and Brookby Song still has a good lead on Arabian Knight. But as they come into the straight, Arabian Knight challenges hard only three lengths away. His jockey's fighting hard for control, but without his stirrup irons, he's sitting upright in the saddle. It's a gallant effort, but the odds are too great. And Brookby Song, well ridden by Jay Chaplin, draws away to win the Grand National by six lengths from Arabian Knight, with Lachine 12 lengths further back in third place and Abby Lou fourth. Brookby Song's great victory gives him the triple crown of steeplechasing, the Great Northern, the Wellington, and the Grand National, all in one season, a feat done only twice before in New Zealand turf history. Mm -hmm.